Hey guys, Crick here. Welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds Hero Mode. In the previous episode, we gained the Master Sword, as you can see. Far more powerful than the sword we had before. Twice as powerful to be exact, plus it has this beam attack if you're in full health. And today, we're going to be heading to Hyrule Castle to find Yuga. But before we go there, as you can see down below, we've got over 5,000 rupees, which means we can now buy items. And that's another thing we got the ability to do last episode, is to buy and upgrade our items. A warm welcome to you, Mr. Hero. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be buying any remaining items here. Um, therefore, um, basically, be able to die. Well, be able to die, yeah. Um... We'll fight, you know, getting stressed about losing everything. Plus, we will have any item we need. The only item we won't have is the sand rod, because we cannot get it for now. But as you can see, I got far too many rupees, because I was like, you know what? I also do want a couple of spare in case things go wrong. Oh shit, shit, shit. Alright, go, I just waste an extra hundred rupees. But like, there we go. I was expecting this to take nearly to the end of the game before we were able to buy all the items. And I think as you can guess, because you know, since we haven't gotten every one of our items before we head Hyrule Castle, and the fact that we haven't been able to get as many pieces of heart as you're usually able to get, I think it's safe to say that it was pretty obvious that it is the end of the game. But like, look here. It's pretty incredible, but we'll, like, let me see. As you can see, we've got every single item out of Ravio's shop. So basically, at the moment, if we die, there's no repercussions. Which is an insane thought. But yeah, as you can see, the, the, the new, our new bow and arrow is pretty insane, actually. But here we go. Heading in to Hyrule Castle uh, with our OP sword and everything. I'm actually really looking forward to this. I want to talk to you guys about the Nintendo Switch. It came out yesterday. I still haven't got my Switch yet. And people may be wondering why. Because I have. I'm not sure if I have. But I did pre. I'm not sure I've talked about it. But I did pre-order my Nintendo Switch. It just hasn't arrived yet. And that was because there was. Um. Um, payment issues with for stuff I'm not really going to go into. Basically, I just one day as a college, I dropped my debit card, and therefore wasn't able. Um, and, ver and I forgot to change it basically, so therefore I wasn't just I just got a bit stuck. I was all not too bad, but actually no. If you look over there, as you can see, the Hyrule guards are being turned into paintings now. <coughs> if you remember back to <coughs> Pardon me. If you remember back to the start of the game, it was actually these guys who were on the walls. But as you can see, the fire rod is such a useful item here. Also it drops a lot of rupees. And I do love this part of the game because it's kind of like sieging the castle and all. And especially with for us at the moment. Because we've gotten all the items we want to. And if you're wondering why I jumped out of Hyrule Castle. It's because I wanted to get that chest that was in the other rooms. Because I feel like I didn't explore it. To basically the best of my abilities. But yeah, I love this part of the game. Just because there's... It's just cool, I think. And no, you know Now in hero mode, I'm starting to... F Even though we're in hero mode, I am starting to feel like we are a bit OP for this part of the game. Because even though, like, we're not even that powerful, and don't just put that out there, we're not extremely powerful, also, yeah, we're not in that outside part. How am I going to play this? I kind of want to go to the outside part, but I feel like I have to completely leave the castle to get to it. But also, I just want to say that the high oh, we can't even get to it anyway, the doors are locked. That was a waste of time by me. But there we go. Like, even look at the Master Sword. Just the, the flipping sound waves or something about it. 
tons is amazing. And by the way, Hyrule Castle is a really short dungeon. If you guys think it's a dungeon. <laughs> Come on. Like, look how, look how overpowered that, <laughs> that, that, um, Fire Rod is. It's insane. But I want to talk to you guys about the Nintendo Switch, as I said before. Because I'm pretty hyped for the play it, even though I haven't been able to yet. Because I've been looking at footage, and before, like, at E4 I wasn't extremely hyped for Zelda. But I was decently hyped because it looked like a good game. Because obviously it is a good game. Oh, well. The funny thing is, with a Master Sword, you become less OP, like, if you're not in full health. Which is kind of, will kind of make me screwed for a wee while. But that all means I'll just have to use my outside weaponry. Let me see. Oh, I know how I'm supposed to do this, Beth. I'm supposed to merge into the wall when I attack him. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh. There we go. Like, even... Even our, um, nice bow and arrow, because it shoots three arrows at once, which basically takes away the stress of aiming, really. Are all these statues going to... Really? I'm so... Oh. Really? Only three statues are attacking? I'm feeling like that's a bit easy for this room. <laughs> but just like, look at that. Okay, no, we're coming alive. I wish it all came alive at once, so for a bit more of a challenge. Because as you can see, it's not even that difficult whenever these guys just come alive at once. To be fair, though, I am a bit overpowered. Even though it is hero mode, I do feel like there should be a little bit more um, difficulty to it. But we go, like, we're back to full health. And up we go. Is this going to take us? How many floors are on this Hyrule Castle? Oh. You're a rampage in my kingdom. You must stop, you can. How many more of my people do you intend to take? <laughs> my little acquisition to of Hyrule is nearly over, princess. It's really quite a spree. A sage here, a sage there. And now we are in but two. I've already got all seven sages. What do you plan to do with them? Never you mind if I have one more painting to make. So please, rid your mind of all concern. I don't want your portrait to feature any unsightly worry lines. I wish to preserve you at every very best. I dare say you're much even for her grace. Confessing monster, you plan to use our seven sages to revive Ganon, don't you? Oh, what golden hair you have. So his bright locks are formerly far too sunny for my taste. But for you, I make an exception. You're not even listening to me. I find your protest in an eloquent, not to imagine irrelevant. I wish only to possess your beauty, Princess Zelda of Hyrule. Not these ugly words of yours. Oh, you're gonna make the spectacular painting, my dear. Oh, my lovely masterpiece, how utterly scrumptious. Dare I say it's my first work yet. What's that? You! Didn't I splash you on some wall somewhere? How did you get out? How impudent. Imagine fastening from your inferior form... Upon my eyes, I will not tolerate this. You should have remained nothing but a stain on that wall. But I will be glad to leave you here, once and for all. Aha! I did like that remix, which was kind of like a really evil remix. But like, ah, here we go. Shit is starting to get real, and it's starting to hit the fan, truly. But there we go, is that all of the enemies in here? 
I will admit the fire rod is really overpowered. It is more overpowered than the bow. And probably one I should have used a lot more. But as you can see, we're starting to really corner what's your you you can know, I think. But like here we go. Outside of the castle walls and all. And I do like the way that there's you can look down there and it's blurred and it is like the I Outside of Hyrule Castle, I do think that's a really good move. Damn, I thought there's a wee secret thing down there. Here you go, here's 300 rupees for doing a bit of adventuring. That's the one, my, that's my one arg argument with Hyrule Castle. Is the fact it's so linear. Linear? Let's see how many floors are there. Oh, we're on the second to last floor now. Also, I got really lucky because I was not looking at the top screen at all there. Damn, come on. Get me out. I, I just want another. Just want to. Well, now I'm frigged, aren't I? Oh, why? Oh, get off this. Nope. Damn it. Oh, no. This is gonna make things slightly more difficult, that's all I'm gonna say. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, one more heart. I just need one more heart, guys. Hashtag I just so okay, no, I'm not gonna go one more heart. Hmm. Whip! Oh, guys, a little bit of hype, I think. Inside of the chat. Come on, this has to be just a little bit of running or company. Yeah, thought so. Let's see, do we have all fairies as well? Oh, come on, guys, we're gonna be fine here. What a beautiful masterpiece! My talent is almost frightening! And then there's you, Worm. I can barely bring myself to look at such an inferior creature. And yet, it seems you're more than you than meets the eye. How did you manage to escape that wall? Never mind, I don't have time to listen to your little prattle. I have done what I've come to do in Hyrule, so I refuse to let you delay my departure any further. Farewell, for the last time! So here we go, we're fighting you again. First of all, she uses magic to attack, but it's obvious who's the real Yugo because of the magic wand. So here we go, and the one thing you have to remember is, you cannot damage Yuga any other way than with a Master Sword. It's just unheard of, guys. Oh, dear me. And if you get stuck, merge into a wall. That's something you need to know. Also, wow, I was expecting this battle to be a lot harder than it was. I bore this fight. Once I have released Garden, lowly creatures like you won't be able to won't be worth my time. Holy crap, I was not expecting that to be that easy. <laughs> Basically, let's see. But like the chase is pretty much on now. Like, Yuga's Val Wake, we're fine. Is that the sanctuary down there? You know what? That's a really good nod, I think. Because that's where it started. And this is where it's going to end. In here? Wait. Wait. Hold on a wee second. Where could Yuga have went? Like, literally, there's only one way to go. But, there is like this dark par coming from underneath the curtain, so let's slash it with our sword. Hmm. It's a bit mysterious, isn't it? But I think we'll have to go for a...
Wait. Is this all where we came from, but far darker? I think I'll go leave you with that cliffhanger. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys all next time. Or where we're going to find out what the hell is going on. See you guys all then. Bye.